Muy buenas chicos, me han pasado este video de Colei. Eh, Campos de vitalidad se llama el video. Vamos a reaccionar un poquitito a él y lo vamos a subir de una vez el video. Vamos a ver, lo estamos viendo en vivo y vamos a ver qué nos tiene que presentar mi joyo en este sentido. Some time ago, the forest rangers of Gandarvaville welcomed a new trainee to their ranks. She's a warm-hearted girl with a radiant smile, always ready to help a forest trekker in need. Like the hardiest plants in the forest, her will to live runs deep, seemingly unbreakable despite the traumas of the past. Monstat gave Kale an opportunity to turn things around, and now Sumeru provides her with a place to grow. Here, she will support those around her with her newly acquired power of Dendro. Good things come to those who are willing to work toward their dreams. When Kale is in the party, She reduces gliding stamina consumption for your own party members, making exploration faster. Kale's normal attack can combo up to four consecutive shots, dealing physical damage. Ah, por cierto, los ataques de Kale me gustaron tan perros. The charged attack. Kale executes a more precise aimed shot that deals increased damage. While aiming, Dendro energy accumulates on the arrowhead. A fully charged arrow will deal Dendro damage. Kale's elemental skill throws a floral ring that deals one round of dendro damage to each target it hits. The floral ring will return after a set time, dealing further dendro damage on the way back. Fui yo o hizo o hizo dash. If one of your own party members triggers a burning, quicken, aggravate, spread, bloom, hyper bloom, or burgeon reaction before the floral ring returns. The floral ring will grant the character the sprout effect on its return. The sprout effect deals dendro damage to nearby enemies for a set time based on Kale's attack. If the sprout effect is triggered again before it expires, the initial effect will be removed. Kale's elemental burst brings her trusty assistant, Kalen Anba, into the battle causing an explosion that deals AoE Dendro damage and creates a Cullenamba zone. Cullenamba bounds around within the zone, dealing further AoE Dendro damage. Ojito con la Mona. Pusieron a Mona como, como the ayudante. Forests, like the hope rejuvenated in Kale's life. After unlocking the talent The Languid Wood, when a character in the Cullenamba zone triggers a burning, quicken, aggravate, spread, bloom, Ojito con la Mona, eh? or virgin reaction, The zone's duration will be extended. A given Cullen Anba zone's duration may only be extended in this way by up to a limited amount. The time that Kale once spent on the run taught her a wealth of survival and combat skills. Though still a trainee forest ranger, her dendro vision gives her the ability to hold her own in many challenging situations. In battle, Kale focuses on casting her elemental skill. Aiming to hit as many enemies as possible and generate the sprout effect within the floral ring. This enables her teammates to deal greater damage through more elemental reactions. Ojo con la Kuki. When her energy is full, Kale summons Kalananba, whose Kalananba zone deals continuous dendro damage to the enemy and creates a fertile ground for elemental reactions. By coordinating with her teammates, the zone can be extended and exploited long enough to remove the con la ya Miko. Son combos que funcionan con Colei. Different things to different people. Some simply wish to grow up in peace, while others pursue loftier goals. As for Kale, she believes that overcoming her past is a necessary step on the long journey to the future she pursues. This is wise, for to overcome is to move forward, not to wallow endlessly in the past. <sighs> Pity that my former travel companion. For all their years of rumination, lacks Kale's clarity on this. Or perhaps, some situations are simply too complex to be resolved by good intentions and honest effort alone. Vale. Está bastante bien para explicar con qué personaje funciona bien Kale. Me pareció bueno el video. Así que chicos, ahí está para que aquellos que quieran ver. 
un poquito más con co ley. Eh, eh, me pareció interesante la parte donde explican con qué personaje funciona bien. Por ahí vimos a Fisher, por ahí vimos a eh, Jaemiko, por ahí vimos a Mona, que fue una de las que más me llamó la atención. Okomi era obvio que iba a funcionar con ella. A, a, también vimos a Cookie. Eh, ¿Quién otro me parece que vimos por ahí? Entre otros. Así que chicos, intenten esas combinaciones, pruébenlas y nos vemos en el próximo video. Cuídense. Chao.